Well, good morning and welcome back to Life in the Hiram House. Happy New Year. It is January 1st, 2024. And look how we're starting the day out here. Can you see all that? That is snow. It snowed last night. I can't think of a better way to start the new year other than with a fresh coating of snow. I mean, come on, look at this. This is amazing. You know we love the snow, and so to kick off the year with snow is fantastic. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. It's laying on the trees, it's looking great. There's a woodpecker right over here. I can't find him, but he's there. It's just great, it's great. We had a friends over last night. We actually stayed up until midnight, welcomed in the new year, and then here we are, ready to get things rolling. And here's my goal. So 2024, I am gonna do my very best to make a real concerted effort to come and talk with you almost every day. So that means I'm gonna bring back the Almost Daily blog. It's gonna be mostly me, but it's kind of my project as we go into 2024. I got a lot of things on the drawing board that I'm working on, and I wanna I wanna be able to share them because I feel like last year, 2023, was a year of of just transition. So if we were like to calculate our last two years, 2022 was just a year of like emotion and trial, Amy's cancer, the loss of the dads, the loss of Toby, um, just a lot of stuff happening emotionally in our lives, major life changes. That included also a job change. Um, and 2023 really became a season of transition. We kind of got to a place where we're like, okay, God, what is our next? What are you going to call us to do next? We have we had a, a job change. I uh, had two job changes. Um, and we've been just seeking God. What do you want us to do in our next season of ministry? And I got to pause for just a second because, man, the snowflakes are huge coming down right now. <coughs> going to come play in the snow? Um, and so for me, 2024 is going to be a year of kind of solidifying some of the things I think God has called us to um, as part of our what's next. And so literally on my drawing board, there are so many projects that I want to see happen, relationships I want to forge, and uh, things I want to do um, that will help propel us into this year and into our next career in ministry. Uh, and I want to share some of that. Um, along with that, I've got some personal goals, uh, things I want to see and, and do, things I want to come about for me. Uh, I want to get healthier. I want to lose some weight. Um, I want to uh, read through the Bible again this year. Um, I want to uh, just... I want to just I want to make the most of this season um, and with these new projects a lot of what I want to do personally uh, connects with them and so um, I'm gonna make a concerted effort to kind of use the vlog as a diary this year to share with you some of the things that God has been teaching the things that God is doing the, God, the things that God is leading us into um, along with some of the fun family stuff like we're still gonna do some family things um, but quite honestly, our kids are growing up. We've been talking about this for a while on the vlog. Our kids are growing up. They're not kids anymore. They're young adults. They're they're having careers. They're they're finishing school. They're they've got jobs. Um, they have families. And so life in the high house is going to look a little different. Um, and then we're going to get into like the hobby side of things, the the gardening and the raising of chickens. And we're going to do our first batch of meat birds this year. And all of these things that we want to do as we like dream and think about homesteading and growing our own stuff and you know caring for ourselves in a better way um and so those things would be on there and so it's just gonna be an exciting year and i want to get it started right here right now and uh so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enjoy this beautiful snow um it's new year's day so we've got um the kids all home everybody has a day off and so we're just going to hang out with them we got a few projects around the house that we want to do um but the first thing is I'm going to go and work out. So let me wrap this up for now. I'll come back a little bit later on today and uh, share a little bit more with you. But uh, let's get this day started. And the first thing, well, the first thing was some quiet time, and I already did that. The second thing is let's get on the treadmill and get some workout done.
So the first day of the new year is coming to a close. And I just have a few thoughts I want to share with you before we wrap up this first day. Um, so it's New Year's. And with New Year's often comes the idea of re resolutions or goals or whatever you want to call the things that you set to, you know, give you a focus for the coming year. Um, I said earlier today that there are a lot of projects on the drawing board. Lots of things I want to work on, lots of things I want to do, lots of things I want to see happen in 2024. A lot of that connected to my own personal projects, but a lot of that connected also to um, a new potential career, a new, a new direction for heading in ministry. Um, but all that's all good and well said. Um, but I want to know what your goals are. Um, do you set resolutions or uh, resol yeah, resolutions? Do you set goals? Do you um, do you measure out for yourself a a game plan for the year? I said earlier I've got a couple of them uh, along with my projects on the table, like the idea of getting healthier, losing weight, um, getting more active, uh, continuing to work on my hobbies of of growing plants and uh, having the garden and raising chickens and all of that. Um, what are your goals? What are you looking to do this year? Um, I'm reading a book by John Acuff. Um, John Acuff, if you're familiar with him, um, lots of great resources, but I'm reading a book that he, is, he has written and uh, it's, it's given me the motivation to set these things up and, and for me to look at what we're doing and, and push forward. And it all begins with this idea of starting. And so that's what we're doing. I'm starting. I want to see certain things happen, and so I'm going to go after them. And it's going to seem weird, and it's going to seem uh, awkward at times, but in order to get to the goals that I have, or in order to get to the places I want to see myself in a year from now, um, we've got to get beyond the awkward. We've got to get beyond the weird. And so um, we just need to simply start. And so what are your goals? What are your resolutions for this year? And um, what, what dreams or ambitions do you have? And what's holding you back? What's preventing you from starting, uh, starting the, the process to go after those dreams or goals or resol resolutions? Um, think about that. Uh, what is it that uh, might be holding you back? If you could chase after whatever dream you had, regardless of the outcome, success or failure, but just the idea of like, this is something I want to do, something I want to see in my life, but fear holds me back from trying to accomplish it because I'm, I'm afraid of the failure. I'm afraid of what people are going to say. Um, what, what are those things? And how can you acknowledge them so that you can move forward with whatever, whatever it is that you want to chase after? So that's what I'm doing. I'm acknowledging the fear um, and the insecurity that what I have to say or that what I have to offer might not be good enough. But I, I'm going to push those things aside. I'm going to acknowledge my fear but move past my fear and I'm going to say hey I'm going to do this and I hope that it's helpful and I hope that it's encouraging and I hope that it helps someone in some way as they move forward on their journey so here we go it's Monday January the 1st 2024 it's the first day of the new year and uh, this is the day that I start this is the day that I'm going to chase after those dreams this is the day that I'm going to do the things that have always been in my heart to do and to share them with the hopes that they might help someone else chase after their dreams and goals. So, today we start and we're going to see what comes out of all of this. And maybe by this point in 2025, we'll have seen some of those goals and some of those resolutions and some of those ambitions and dreams. Maybe we'll see some of them come true. But we won't get to that point until we start. And so, today, we're starting. And that's what I want to encourage you to do, is to start. Make today your start. So, here we go. Again, thanks for watching. It's the Almost Daily Vlog, here on Life in the High House. I'll see you next time.